Good morning everybody. So in today's video uh, we are going to wash and preserve all of this produce that we did uh, picked and harvested in the last video and we're going to make a chocolate zucchini loaf. We're going to test a recipe for zucchini today. So that's what we're doing in the video. So I think I'm going to start with washing the peppers because they're fairly easy to wash. All I'm going to do with the peppers is I'm going to chop them and um, put them in the freezer. Same with the kale. We're just going to chop them and put them in the freezer. I'm probably going to take the hot peppers that we did and um, I think I'm probably going to do it off camera and I'm probably just going to can little jars of them like this so that all diced up so that I can use them whenever it's convenient because there are quite a few, few uh, jalapenos and <laughs> red chili peppers and I have quite a few jalapenos left over from when we made salsa and the jalapeno hot sauce as well. So I'm probably just going to do all those and can them in little jars. I'll probably do that off camera though. Probably won't do that in this video. Um, as you know, if you've watched my previous videos, uh, my family we're okay with zucchini, but it's not our favorite. So I want to test some new recipes. So I'm going to make a zucchini, uh, chocolate zucchini loaf today and test to see how well my family likes it. I'm not going to tell them there's zucchini in it. <laughs> see if they notice. <laughs> okay, all the kale. I just left this basket on my counter here. I probably should have put the kale in the fridge, but that's okay. Let's put that off to the side. Okay, let's wash the my weirdly shaped carrots. <laughs> You see how weirdly shaped they are? Very weirdly shaped. <laughs> They're very weird looking. <laughs> I also picked um, two little zucchinis uh, the other day, so we're going to wash those up too, because I haven't washed those yet. That's what we're going to use today for the chocolate zucchini loaf. I'm probably just going to put these carrots into a Ziploc. We probably use them in a different meal sometime this week. <clears throat> There's not very many here that we picked. I do have more growing because they're not ready yet. <laughs> Look how weird the shapes these are. Look. It's got like little it looks like a little alien carrot. <laughs> really cute. Uh, we've got a lot of potatoes here, so let's just wash those. Um, I'm not going to be storing my potatoes. Um, there's not really a lot here to store, and I didn't grow a ton to store. So, I'm probably just going to put them in my potato bin and use them. The 
don't want to scrub them too hard so they don't rot. Okay, so let's start with making the zucchini loaf. I'm going to grate up some of this zucchini here. My weirdly shaped zucchini. <laughs> I have another one here. Hopefully we don't need to use this because if we don't, I'm going to give this to my mother-in-law. But for this one, we are going to make a chocolate zucchini loaf. So I'm just going to cut out a little bit of the seeds that are in this one. It's only a little bit. I need about one and a half cups, so we'll see if we have to use that. We might have to. I'm testing a whole bunch of zucchini recipes just because if you've watched my previous videos, uh, my family doesn't really like zucchini a ton. We haven't found a lot of zucchini recipes that we really, really like. So I'm going to test one and I'm going to let them taste it and not tell them what's in it until afterwards and see if they like it. <laughs> so I'm just going to grate all the zucchini hopefully it'll equal about a cup and a half approximately a cup and a half these are all my tomatoes that i've been collecting i have i think three or four bags uh, ziploc bags full already in my freezer getting ready to make sauce that's going to be in a future video soon i'm waiting for the rest of the tomatoes to finish uh, to finish ripening. <laughs> well, we might actually get it. That's about a cup. And then I'll give the rest of that other one to my mother-in-law. She likes eating it uh, baked with like a stuffed mixture on top in inside and then baked with cheese on top. I had it last time I went to her house for dinner. It was actually really good. So if she doesn't want it, I'll probably make something like that with it. I'm assuming she'll want it though. <laughs> I am actually going to her house for dinner tonight. So we are gonna make a salad to go to her house with as well. Yeah, I think that's perfect. That's about a cup and a half. Okay, so let me wash my hands and uh, get out a mixing bowl and we'll start making the zucchini loaf. Okay, let's get started. So I need one cup of flour. I got it, all the ingredients out to make this a little easier, a little faster. And about half a cup of cocoa. I already have a quarter cup measure in here. I love it when I do that. <laughs> it's so convenient when you have measuring spoons in all your products. I usually just buy them either from the dollar store or a cheap set online. So much more convenient than having to find measuring cups every two seconds. So about half a cup of cocoa. I like to sift my cocoa. Um, it is quite lumpy. You'll see in a sec here. As you can see, there's already quite a few lumps. This is the reason for sifting your cocoa. You can sift the flour as well. I just don't find it's as necessary. You don't want a big chunk of cocoa, especially with it being so bitter without the sugar. Here we go. And then a teaspoon of baking soda. I like keeping mine in this jar. It keeps it fresher. So one teaspoon. Half a teaspoon of salt. About there. Mm, a little bit more. We need about a quarter of a cup of melted butter. I've melted it already, make it a little faster. Um, 
about quarter of a cup of olive oil. Up there. For some moisture in the mixture, I'm assuming. What else? Three quarters of a cup of brown sugar. This is a half cup measure that I'm using here. At first I had white sugar taken out because I figured most recipes take white, but this one takes brown. And some one teaspoon of vanilla extract, which is pretty much what I have left in here. Actually, I'm going to go get another one. I like a little bit more flavor. Okay, so I got a new one. I'm just going to add a little bit more. And then let's see what else here. Two eggs. And let's see. That's it for now. Now we just need to mix this up. So I'm just mixing this. see if there's any more liquid in this. There isn't and I'm assuming it's because of this. So we're gonna put this in, the zucchini. Let's mix that in. Okay, this looks a little dry to me, so I'm going to add some milk to this. Only a little bit, because I don't want it to be too wet. That looks better. Okay. So now I'm going to stick some chocolate chips in, semi-sweet chocolate chips, you can use whatever kind you like. I'm only going to put a, like a handful or so in it and then we're going to sprinkle some on top. Okay, let's put it in the pan. I already greased the pan. I like to use spray. So we're just going to put it right in the pan. So the cat's out of the bag. My son's seen me putting the zucchini into the loaf. Already sticking his nose up in the air about the zucchini. We'll see though. I think this is going to taste delicious. Okay, now I'm just going to take a little bit more of these and sprinkle them on top. So this is going to bake at 350 degrees for about 45 to 55 minutes, just depending on your oven. So I will show you that once it's done. But in the meantime, let's get started on the salad that I'm going to take to my mother-in-law's tonight. Okay, so we're just going to chop up these cucumbers. The little baby ones that I got out of my garden. <laughs> I like uh, picking them when they're nice and small. They're really nice and crunchy. 
I have made this salad three times this week. <laughs> so I'm just going to cut these into chunks. I like to do fairly thick pieces just so that um, they stay nice and crunchy. Put them into my bowl here. Okay, now we need some of my tomatoes here. I have washed all of these. We're just letting them ripen. I'm just going to cut them in half and put them in the bowl here. I've got to find the ripe ones though. <laughs> I've been trying to use up my cherry tomatoes and this salad is perfect for that. I think my mother-in-law will love it too. She loves vegetables. It's a very simple salad. Um, I like to use uh, bought and dressing for this one. I mix a few and then I add some stuff to it. <laughs> You'll see in a minute here. I'm going to try and add quite a few of these since I'm going to a dinner. This is actually one of my favorite summer salads. It's so delicious. Is there any more? Oh, there's one over there. Otherwise, I think the rest are green, so we'll leave it at this. So just some tomatoes and some cucumber. Then, this is super simple, <laughs> takes two seconds. So I'm going to put some pepper in to start with. I do not add salt just because I'm going to use these two vinaigrettes. So Italian golden uh, dressing. I like to buy it. Um, I can make this, but I like to use botten sometimes. So add a little bit of that. And then balsamic vinaigrette. Add some of that. This is what makes this dish taste is so good. Delicious. And then add a little bit of brown sugar. Not a lot. Just a little bit. And mix it together and that's it and this is one of the most delicious salads ever <laughs> just mix it up and there it is just gonna grab one mm, yeah really good the balsamic with the italian dressing is so good so i'm just gonna let this marinate a little bit and then i'll take this with me so now let's start uh, chopping up the peppers and the kale. I already have a bag of frozen kale here that I already started using. <laughs> I used it in soup the other day. So that is literally all I'm going to do with this as well, is just chop it up. I like using my reusable freezer bags for this. Works great. I love putting kale in soup. I had made a sausage vegetable soup with a tomato base. It was so good. I put zucchini and kale and a whole bunch of homegrown veggies in it. It was really delicious. I used Italian sausage in it. It was a huge hit. <laughs> so I'm just going to leave it like that and we're just going to put it right into the bag here. I find it worked great this way so I'm just going to keep doing what works.
Okay, I cannot find my bag holders at the moment, so we're just gonna lay it down. And we're gonna chop up the bell peppers. I love having diced peppers in my freezer. It's convenient. I don't have to sit there and chop peppers every time I need peppers. My peppers are little baby ones, but like I was saying in our harvest video, if you watched that, um, it's cold here in Canada. So to get a bigger pepper, <laughs> It's quite an accomplishment. This one is the biggest one I've ever grown. <laughs> I'm quite proud of it. <laughs> so all I'm doing is just dicing these up. And then whenever I need them, I pull the bag out of the freezer, take a handful out, put it in the dish I'm making, and that's it. And they hold their texture quite well, actually. And I find not blanching them works perfectly fine. I don't want them to be mushy. Ooh, they're nice and fresh. Nice and crisp, I can feel it. So I'm probably going to dice most of these off camera, so you don't have to watch me dice a whole bunch of peppers. And then... Sorry, I have allergies. <laughs> um, and then once the zucchini loaf comes out, I will show you the finished product. So I will be back as soon as I am done all of that. Okay, so I managed to get almost almost half a zip, uh, reusable Ziploc. That's pretty good for homegrown. That's probably at least three meals, three or four. So I'm happy with that. <laughs> Okay guys, the chocolate loaf is out. It baked for 50 minutes. Let's cut a piece and see the texture. So this is the texture. Looks nice and moist. And there's the finished product. So guys, uh, that's it for today's video. Uh, I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.